guys. Today, I have an exciting interview for you. We are talking to a 17-year-old girl who topped in JEE exams, women category in India. She'll be sharing her journey, how she prepared, and her advice for you all. Stay tuned to hear all about her experiences and tips for all the JEE aspiring candidates. Welcome, Sangi. Thank you for being here with us and accepting my invitation to share your experiences with us. So, to start with, can you tell us something about yourself and your background? I am Sangi and I have just finished my 12th. Okay, so basically you are from here yeah, from I'm Bangalore. from Bangalore itself. Okay. Uh, just for our audience, please share your achievements. That's the reason you are here today. Yeah. So in GE mains, I got All India Rank 1 in Girls category and I had also given NEET as well. I got 710 in that and in GE Advanced, I got 421 rank and I am going to IIT Bombay with Computer Science. So I think we are the first people to reveal that she is going to IIT Bombay and we are very proud of you Sangi. That is a dream for us, maybe it's not for you. <laughs> is it like that? No, it's a dream for me too. Yeah, great. So, for the first time when you heard that you were the uh, woman topper, how did you feel? I did not expect it, though I was really happy and I was really proud of myself also. Okay. I had more exams so I didn't celebrate much okay. because means was before need and advanced also. Okay. I am actually this is hard to believe for me that I heard uh, because mm, your mom is my friend I heard from her that you were actually preparing for NEET yeah. uh, but it's a real shocker to all of us that you achieved great in uh, JEE how did that happen so I was preparing for both initially okay. so I started with NEET coaching in Akash and I used to do math uh, myself online. Okay. So online? In through an academy. Okay. Okay. So from there I got the math support and uh, physics and chemistry also a little bit from online and a little bit from Akash. So with that I was preparing for both of them. Oh great. What is the main motivation and inspiration behind your success? There was I was initially very excited with science and maths both. Okay. So since 10th grade, I was uh, excited for both of them. So I took both maths and bio as my subjects. And I think the love for the subjects has been a bit of motivation. Oh, great. that's actually nice to hear. Did anybody guide you in a certain path or you yourself got motivated? My dad used to take care of all the exams and scores and everything and even like my school teachers and coaching teachers helped me through the doubts and the course and everything. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, answer itself, we have a question. Who are your teachers that inspired you and guided you? So, I had like my school, my biology teacher, she was very supportive and she used to always encourage all of us in the class, not only me. And even in coaching, we are, all the teachers were very helpful, they were very motivating. Mm -hmm. They would not compare students and they were very supportive to everyone. Okay. So, coming to school part, I generally uh, think that whoever is going for uh, long term or only concentrating uh, to prepare for JE, uh, they may achieve to get this rank or whatever you have achieved. But you were going to school, there like goes all the time to school, yeah. their homeworks and everything. How did you manage? So it was tough because you have to manage both of them because the pace at which both of the institutions go is also very different. So you have to manage time a lot and you have to be very dedicated. Yeah, that's true. Dedication is the main part. So did anybody in your family got this success? Yeah, even my dad had gone to IIT Roorkee for wow. his MTech. Okay. As in that, I don't know. Okay. So we can say your dad is your inspiration. Yeah. So how many hours per day did you devote for your studies? I used to go to school so I used to come back around 4 okay. and about 9 I used to study with some small breaks in the middle and, and one more hour in the night that was usually my timetable. Okay. okay so after school how many hours total? About 5 to 6 hours. 5 to 6 hours and in the school? School we used to 
should have from morning 8 to 2.40, so mm -hmm. about 6 hours there. Okay. So, did you feel going to school was like you are wasting time or it was helpful? No, it was helpful because our school teachers were really good. They were clear all the concepts really well and it was a base foundation for me. Okay. And even like the peer group there, you get to mingle a lot with your friends there. Okay. So oh, good, good. So, how did you distribute your time between studies, friends, sports? So, friends mostly in school, I would meet all of them. Okay. And sports and everything, I used to have small breaks while studying. I used to go down for walks also. Okay. And morning I used to cycle. And yeah, that's about Yeah, that. only then I saw you when you were cycling <laughs> and walking. That's your, that's your leisure, that's it. Yeah, Walk. I used to watch TV sometimes like while having food. Okay. So, do you feel relaxed when you were walking or something? Because you were, you always be in a meditated state while you're walking. You don't even look here and there yeah. just like straight <laughs> yeah you feel so you have something in your mind while you're walking or just blind no just blind oh great <laughs> what is your favorite subject during the preparation it was physics okay yeah mostly i like that a lot mm. and bio and maths were after that okay so you said you were preparing for NEET as well as JE at the same time, right? So what is that you wanted to like achieve in these two? What? I wasn't really sure, that's why I did both of them. Oh. So then finally I chose I did both of them. I did both great. What kind of resources did you use throughout your academic journey? Mainly I used my coaching material and the online and academy platform, I did some tests from there, that was mainly about it. Okay, so tests in the sense? They used to have tests related to the like mains pattern or advanced pattern with all the syllabus or part syllabus. Okay. Like those different did tests. you solve so many questions yeah, yeah. like that from by yourself? Or yeah, I did you? previous year questions also and some books also other than that. Did that help? Solving yeah, papers? So uh, questions only help you to like get a hand on the time management and everything but okay. your concepts have to be cleared from the start okay oh. so this part you have to be true okay would you say you were naturally gifted when it comes to academics or did you have to give a lot of time on your own to learn things i think it was a 50 50 some of them came naturally to me whereas some of them i had to spend a lot of time okay. so there were some concepts where i wouldn't get and i had to actually sit and study a lot some of them came normally to me so it was a balance okay. what does a typical day in the life look for you after your school i would come home and relax for a little bit and then i would start studying then i would go down for a walk and come home and have dinner and then mostly study for a little bit more and sleep. That okay. Is. What about your sleep cycle? Did you have like good sleep? Yeah, I used to have good sleep like about 7 to 8 hours. 7 to 8 hours. What is your future goal which is like most awaited? <laughs> I have not decided that much. Yet. Not yet? No. Okay. This is my last question. We have come to our end of the interview. So what is the biggest piece of advice for any younger students trying to pursue the same field like you? I think work hard, have consistency in your studying and for understand the concepts rather than doing the questions because that's what actually helps you during the exam. Thank you Sami, thank you so much for being here and uh, I hope this will be helpful to all the students out there who are planning for the future. Thank you. Thank you.